Johanna. Johanna. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another junk journal with me. It's been ages since I've done a junk journal with me. That's because I finished in my junk journal and I had to make another one. And then it took me a while to get around to filming the video before I started working in it. And today's video I'm just doing a little journal entry to kind of break it in. This is the first thing that I put into my junk journal. This is from, this is a bag from my anniversary. My husband and I just had our first wedding anniversary in September. And so this is a bag from some jewelry that he got me. And um, all I'm doing is just cutting it up so I can make it into a pocket. So I just trimmed down the bag and I trimmed off the um, ribbon that was on it because it was a little bit bulky and just put some double sided tape around the bag on three sides just so I could make a pocket with the actual bag itself. And then I have a couple of photos I'm going to slip in there later of um, the jewellery and dinner that we had together. So I just grabbed a tag and this is the gift tag from my gift to him as well and I'm just attaching those together with some twine and slipping those into the pocket and I decided that instead of just putting my photos straight into the pocket I was going to back them first and so I'm just going through some project life cards that I need to <laughs> remember to use because I have a lot of project life cards that I don't use often enough and I'm just going to back the photos to the cards. So all I'm doing is just trimming those photos down so that they will fit nicely on the cards. And then once I've trimmed those down so that you can see like a tiny little border around each picture, I'm just sticking those down with double sided tape as well and those are just going to slip right into that little packaging pocket. It was kind of challenging to work in this journal after working in my big junk journal last time. It was it was different. It was um, I'm still getting used to the different size. So I was kind of um, kind of not sure how many pages I was gonna take up or like how how it was gonna be laid out. It's just different. But I do have a couple of pieces here that I also want to put in. They're not actually a part of that same spread. I'm just putting them into the journal because I want them in here. But they're notes from a couple of different people that have sent me um, some little, little goodies and little notes, little letters. So a couple of subscribers that have sent me some things. So I just wanted to put those into my journal as well. And so I've got an envelope from one of them that I'm using to create a pocket and then I've just tucked um, the card into that and then I'm just kind of trying to find other places that I can fit the other couple of notes without it being too bulky in one spot. These are some flowers that somebody sent me in some Happy Mail and they're so pretty and I wanted to put them in here. I, I made this little pocket with packaging and acetate and um, just to keep them safe but in the end they were a little bit, not only were they really bulky but they were too tall otherwise I probably would have put them into my journal but yeah they were a bit too tall so I decided not to put them in after all. Now I'm just going through my vintage linens printables that I have available in my Etsy shop and choosing one. I really like this one. This one's one of my favourites and so I just wanted to use that to decorate the page and I just stuck that along the bottom of the page and I added some staples where the paper met the fabric that was already on the page. And then these are some stickers that I got in um, a sticky, sticky Club subscription and they are so cute. I like how they're, um, they've got gold foil but they've also got some see-through, uh, they're kind of transparent so they're really cool. 
I'm using one just to put the date of our anniversary and then I was using my pen to do an outline around the bag and I do like the way that that looks but it actually ends up smudging and I don't notice that until later but yeah it didn't ever dry so I have to fix that up later did some journaling on the big card um, the big tag sorry and tucked it back into the pocket and then I've got some pictures lying around from the wedding that were left over from our guest book project and so I just chose one of those to stick onto the page so I chose one of our little family trimmed it down and then I again I'm backing that onto a project life card and trimming the project life card down as well just because I'm not really a huge fan of the rounded edges and it was a little bit too wide for that space added some of that beautiful washi tape just to fill in that area and kind of blend the printable into the page a little bit and stuck the photo down and then I realized that the pen smudged so I grabbed a wipe and I just started wiping it off I didn't really know what to do because it was never gonna dry and it was just gonna make a mess so I had to get it off so I kind of just smudge it around with a dry it was like just a dry baby wipe that I had on my table from cleaning the stamps like the day before and yeah I just smudged it off and then I thought I'll add some more stickers that have some gold foiling on them and that might just help take the focus off that mistake a little bit and just just make it look a little bit more like it was supposed to happen <laughs> so that is my finished spread as I said super super simple and quick just trying to break into the book I hope you guys enjoyed this process video I hope you guys will enjoy seeing me work in this new junk channel as much as you did seeing me work in the old one so hope you guys are all doing well and I'll see you in my next video Bye.